Every full brick's broke so far. What do you make of that? Here, right over there. You can polish a turd, but you can't make it shine. <laughs> Good Monday morning. Well, Monday the 25th of July, and it's um, just stopped pouring down. It's a wet day. We've had a two week dry spell and we've had, we've had next to no work for the last two weeks. We've had a lot of people cancel on us and work fall through so we've done not very much while the weather's been glorious which is a bit of a bummer. So we're here today on this new job. This is for Vic which you will have seen, who you will have seen in one of our older videos. Um, we've got a window to brick up on the side of the house. We've got two panels to brick up on the conservatory and we've got two steels to go in. So we're here for two or three days. So today we're going to concentrate on the window and then Wednesday I think Vic and Sean will be here so we can work with them and we get the, we'll have to get the conservatory roof off to get the steels in. So we've got our blocks, Vic's picking the bricks up later so we've got a bit of toothing out to do, a bit of loading out to do and maybe a bit of inside work, prepping the inside walls while it's raining. So we'll just see what we can do and we'll take you inside. Oh yeah, he's off in... It's Monday so... Sunday? Yeah. Uh, next Sunday's going for two weeks. This Sunday? Yeah, this Sunday. He looks gutted to leave me, doesn't he? He look, looks a bit, a bit sad. It's not that when you, uh, you and <laughs> Mum went to Florida, isn't it? You weren't, good, right. you weren't gutted. See you in there. Right, so, as you can see, I've made a start taking out the trim, but we're going to hold fire with that because this one, He's going to do the bit of toothing now, so we thought ahead for once and thought before we take that out and make a load of dust in here, get all that done while we've still got the window in. So, while he's doing that, I'm just getting us a bit organised in here, trying to get stuff set up. Windows go in and skip so we don't have to, we can just, yeah. we don't have to worry about damaging the window. Yeah, so the window's getting tossed, so we don't need to worry about that. And, I'll take you outside, show what I'm doing. What are you doing? First person, no third person shots. Oh yeah, and uh, as you can see, it keeps raining on and off, so we're ducking in and out. Um, can't get a scaffold up out of here, obviously, because it's an entry, so it's a trestle job. So this is our job. Um, we'll do a better job of bricking up than they did. But uh, not one of those flu jobs. But at least they had a go. I don't know what more to use, like concrete. But um, anyway, this is ours. But there's not a hope in hell of getting this to bond. Um, as you can see, let me just start here. Here's your, here's your half brick bond here. Then you approach the window, and then they swap the bond, which most people do on the, on the window. Follow that up, follow that half up, there's yep. a three quarter. One, two, three, four, three quarters. Then bang, goes back to a full brick. And then the bond changes again back there. As you can see over the window, the bond is gone. Very two old weep holes, the old style. And then over here, you've got a big half. It's the bigger halves than normal. So it's probably about 120 mil at half. So they'll be coming out, and then so it's that bond's gone, and it doesn't work full brick across the window. So we're going to work off this side where the full bricks are, work back, and just piece up wherever it is. We're going to have all kinds of pieces in it, but to get it to work, you're going to you just take the whole wall back. So it's just not an option, and it's um it's a side entry, and the brickwork isn't the best down here anyway. You can see a. Uh, the old scaffold height change. Don't know what's going on with that bed, but it's sticking right out. But anyway, it's down the side, so it's not seen. It's we always like to make it look as tidy as possible, but sometimes you just can't. Lintel staining. There's no need to take lintel out and mess around with all that because the lintel's in cavity trays in. So we'll just leave those two weep holes out. Leave them as they are. Tooth it all in. Block it all up. Mm -hmm. and then I think that's something to shut up. No, okay. This tooth It's off. almost break time. You need to get some work done.
Right, after break, the weather is uh, kicking our ass, but Dad's making... Was that wall? Yeah. Dad's making progress though. Unfortunately, the big bricks have been breaking, just because... So far, 100%. Every full brick broke so far. But that's because cause of the space we're in and the way things are. Crap bricks, and he has to use the, uh, the Titan drill. He can't just cut them out, so... The, the odds are against him. But even that, when they're cut out, okay. The bricks just crack. Mm. They're so brittle and soft. I've got all the measurements ready as well, because um, if I do this right, if I just pick up the beds a little bit, it should work some coarsen brick at the top, which would be save me a lot of faffy cuts. Other than that, it's just a full block and a 170 cut all the way. Right. The aftermath. That was tough. That was very tough. One, two, three, three snappers. And uh, yeah, it was hard to get out that. The window. Obviously the screws were exposed except for one, so we took that screw out and now it's coming out nice. So um we'll just uh, pop it out. You alright? There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it's out, dropped it. So, right, so next thing, whenever you're breaking up a window, always take the jams out. So you've got an open cavity, so your cavity runs right through because obviously there's no window anymore. So if you leave these in, you're leaving the, this cold bridging. But this, is an, this is an old house, so there's no insulation in the returns. It's just a bit. PC. No, it's not. It's no, they, they started putting the foil with the bubble wrap, didn't they? Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. And now they don't put anything across there, now they put the cavity formers in. So, yeah, we need to chop that out, otherwise you're going to get the cold bridging. And uh, because the damp of course is all backwards because of the drill, there's a good chance you get damp through there as well. And there's the window frame. Ready for the skip, and then hopefully we can be with the bricks soon. We can get the brick in. What do you make of that? Work of art. And uh, bucket is what I need. cavity. Tie wire. Snot. Tie wire. Snot. Mission tie wire. Tie wire. Snot. I'm missing insulation because of all the snot, so we're going to insulate in there when we uh, come through the window and get all this shit cleaned down. There you go, that's one side done. Look at that shit in the cavity. Let's clean that tire off. Clean that tire wire off. That's just a random tire wire stuck in the cavity with a load of shite on top of it. I mean, a load of rubbish on top of it. And we'll see what we find on this side. And this side looks slightly better. Yeah, that's not good that. But like I say, we'll have all that clean up after dinner. Got to be careful that you don't drop it further down the cavity. And this is all blown in insulation and as you can see, it's not been blown in very well. None of, none of this has fell out. There's none in there. So because of all the debris in the cavity here, the, the insulation not been able to spread around the cavity properly and it's been blown in. 
that's why I need to clean Carty. So yeah, I've got nothing in there. Now. If you want a warm, if you want a warm house, clean your cavity. Yeah. Right, see if there's any. Good afternoon. Any time over? It's about one o'clock, isn't it? Half one. Mm. Half one. Turn it to two. I'm starting to sweat now. No sign of the bridge yet. I think we're block, um, boarding this up tonight. Oh no, we can still get the block working, we're okay. Oh yeah. yeah. I've, I've um, in fact. Come here. Right, before we do that, we'll, we'll get to that first. Right. I've cleared all the cavities out. That mess down there, I realised was the cavity tray of the meter boxes. That's what it's, uh, DPC was in the cavity, so that was full of stops. Each tire was full of stops, so there's a load of crap up here, so I've cleared all that out. And as you can see, it's all been insulated now. So as we build this up now, we'll just put the fresh insulation here. That's staying in, because there's no point in taking that out. It's not doing any harm. And I've knocked out the mortar on the top there, so when we put our last brick in, we can point in the bit here. Get nice and tight. It's not going to work brick. You can see that's a three quarter, and that's a three quarter. So this is going to have a closure all the way down it. Uh, there's no other way of getting rid of such a small piece in such a small length without taking like that much wall down and even then it'd be pieces of glow. So feel free to abuse it in the comments but that's the way it is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a shame. I don't like it, but tough shit. Um you're saying that, that I normally pick on so don't <laughs> but since, since Deb was on about the block work while he's been finishing that off. I've got all my cuts ready, so under here there's uh, the 170s and then there's two blocks there, the block and the 170 that have been cut down to 165 because as I said before I thought it was going to be a brick but we've took out a lot more like just rubbish since then so it's now opened up to a 165 block cut so that's what's going in instead so and that's a bare block and bare lintel yeah all the plastic gone out so I need to kindly ask Dad to uh, shift it so I can get this barrel through and so I can get the mixer through because I've got to get a mix on now. What should I do for the mix? Charge broke. Hmm? Charge is broke. Or the wire's broke or the charging plug's broke. Catching a bit.
There you have it, that's the wall done. Here it over there. You can polish a turd but you can't make it shine. <laughs> like you said, we've, we've worked with what we've got. We had to get the pieces in there but as you can see, the, with what we had there was no other way we could really do it. So, but that's done at least and I'll take you over. Here's my handiwork, just blocking up the back. So, there we go. There's another window successfully blocked up. Thankfully, we're back here tomorrow, so we've uh, managed to get ourselves set up a bit. We've got the bricks loaded out, we've got the other bricks ready. I'm going to have to do what should I do now? Try and do this as a separate video. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So here we go, another bricking up job ticked off. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like because that is massively appreciated. And if you're new to the channel or you want to see more from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell to get notifications. That way you'll always know when we upload. Again, we greatly appreciate that. It's a massive help for the channel and we're very thankful for every single one of you. So this has been Bricklane with Steve and Alex and we'll catch you in the next video.